Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Quake. That's right, the new adventures of He-Man Love continues in the Masters Classics lineup. I know, new adventures, come on. But you know what? I'll be perfectly honest with you. Quake here is one of the new adventures characters I have been waiting for, and you know what? I think this is the one I'm personally most excited about in this new batch of figures. Shh, don't tell anybody. So he comes on that standard Masters of the Universe Classics blister card packaging, fully showcasing our figure within, the evil meteor smashing mutant, I love that subtext, that is so very cool. And when we flip this around to the backside, we've got that cross sell of the current wave, we have this awesome new artwork of Quake up here on the top left, I love this on the new packaging, and we even have a brand new bio for the character, fitting him in to the Classics storyline. So let's go ahead and get Quake opened up from the packaging and take a closer look at him. All right, here we go with Quake. Man, this guy is just one of those really wacky looking characters from the New Adventures toy line, and I love him. I love him for that. And as you can see right out of the package, this is one of those characters where the Four Horsemen basically just completely interpreted that vintage toy design right here into the classic style and it works wonderfully. He's just so weird and goofy looking, yet he fits this aesthetic so, so perfectly. So let's get a closer look at all of these great sculpted details here, starting with the head. How awesome is the head? So of course this guy, his whole deal is that he can make earthquakes, hence the name Quake. And one of the cool designs I like about this guy that I never really noticed until it was done by the horseman here is his head with this big old crack. See how this crack is going through his helmet and kind of through his face? And as a result, his whole head is like lopsided? How awesome is that? Just what a cool little detail for a guy that's all about fault lines and quakes and stuff like that. I think that is just such a fun detail. He's got a really weird face with these giant gritted teeth, these big bug eyes, just a weird looking alien dude, and I love it. It's such a fun sculpt. But man, look at the details all the way through and through on this guy. So his torso's got this crazy mechanical look to it. Again, all these cracks and everything are just worked into all of his armor bits there. And it's this mixture of like this gunmetal silver and this bronze, and all of it's got this nice kind of metallic look to it. You can see he's got all these little wires that come over to this little screen here that's painted with like kind of the the little uh, earthquake lines there like a Richter scale kind of deal going on there and that is just such a fun detail as well so this piece right here is that classic armor that we've seen on all of the Masters of the Universe Classics figures. So if you really wanted to, you could probably uh, pull that off. It does appear that it's glued. One of the things I've noticed here is it doesn't look like this is really meant to come off. If customizers or if you really wanted to pull it off, you probably could. You'd find the standard buck underneath there, but it definitely looks like they made it so it's not removable. That's how it appears on mine at least. It is also made of a softer pliable plastic, which works out just fine for this guy and it's nice and form-fitting it doesn't have like the big lats or anything like that which is something I definitely appreciate so cool designs going on here you can see the shoulders uh, have this piece of the armor that's kind of coming out and glued to the side of the arms there uh, but it's nice and loose enough that it doesn't look like it's gonna hinder the movement at all in fact on the left it's not even attached to the arm you can just see the standard ball joint of the shoulder there underneath um, and then you've got these great sculpted uh, bracers there on the wrist that have that same kind of crack detail. And then look, I mean, the colors are crazy because he's like red and gold and silver and then all of a sudden you get to his legs and he's got purple thighs. It's like, what? What is going on with this guy? I don't know, but he's awesome. I just absolutely love the wackiness of this design. Just a very, very fun sculpt all the way through. So articulation we got to talk about that especially with what's going on with the armor here so the head is on that standard ball joint and it looks like it moves around just fine you can move up and down at a great range left and right uh, he does have those nice ball joints to the shoulders and as you can see this right here on the armor and the arm doesn't seem to hinder the movement whatsoever i can still move the arm forwards backwards i can swivel the bicep there's enough of a gap in here and it's pliable enough that it doesn't hinder the articulation and i really really like that nice tight joints at the elbows you got swivels at the wrist there he does have that torso which you can still rock up and down underneath the softer armor there as well as swivel them at the waist 
Got those nice ball-like joints at the thighs. Legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards as well as swivel. You can see this right here. It's actually a very, very gummy uh, piece of plastic. You can see how soft it is. It's very flexible, so that way the articulation functions just fine at the legs. Uh, you do have nice tight knee bends there. Really great. You do have the boot cut articulation, which is nice. They kind of worked it into the sculpt there because you can see he does have this piece that comes up over the knee, but they still cut it and it works really well with the sculpt. So you can still articulate the uh, thigh, the, the boot cut there, sorry. And then he does have the nice art ankle articulation that just goes forwards and backwards, a little bit side to side, not too much, but pretty standard articulation, but it all functions very nicely, even with the added details and the armor bits on this guy. So that, my friends, is going to bring us to his accessory, which is just this really, really crazy looking mace type weapon. So this is his Grabatron Meteor, which is just an amazing name. Basically, as the bio tells you, this meteor, the special meteor that he has, has got magical abilities to cause tremors and quakes. So he's got it fashioned to the staff so he can bang the staff around and cause those quakes. Now this thing is actually very heavy. The rock piece at the end here is surprisingly heavy and adds a lot of weight to this thing. And here's one thing that's really fun. You can actually pop it off of the actual little claw here. And there's some cool little details here. Now, just like on the vintage toy, you can break this meteor piece in half. But unlike on the vintage toy, there's some fun little sculpted details in here. The horseman took the extra step to sculpt what looks like some sort of little machinery inside of the meteorite. And it's got great metallic paints. It's all painted up, very cool. Almost like it gives you an explanation as to why this has the powers that it does. I thought that was just a neat little touch. And it just, fits back together very nicely you can see you just gotta match it up uh match up where we broke it apart there you go fit it together it holds together very nicely so it's got these three little slots on here that will plug onto the claw you just gotta kind of match it up and as you can see they actually plug in there pretty nice and it does a decent job of holding on to it now i will say i am a little curious to see how over time this holds up because while it seems to be holding okay right now, you can see even, even, there you go. Even right now I was trying to get it back in, I was really having to push those pieces back in. I'm a little worried with over time that the weight of this is going to make it so that this doesn't hold on anymore. But I guess time will tell with that. So the way that the figure is sculpted, he's got a much more open left hand and a tighter right hand. So he's kind of meant to hold on to the handle of this thing on the right and then kind of place his left hand underneath the larger portion on the front. And this works out fine, and he can hold on to it pretty good. I will say that in some poses, the weight of the rock on the end does cause some problems. It actually makes his bicep articulation swivel sometimes, and uh, it makes his elbow even kind of bend. And I've noticed that like, if I, I try to keep him posed, just like this, look, if I try to keep his arm up, the weight of that thing kind of brings his arm down just a bit. And if I'm gonna get a little nitpicky here, one of the things that you can't do is pose this guy like the vintage figure where it looks like he's actually pounding this thing into the ground because unfortunately the way his hands are positioned and the articulation don't really allow for it. But you still can get some two-handed poses, so at least there's that. So speaking of the vintage action figure, it's comparison time! Again, one of the weirder figures from the New Adventures toy line, but he was bigger and chunkier than a lot of the other figures. I always really did like this guy. Uh, his action feature made it so that you can only move his arms up and down, but the whole point was to basically smash that Gravitron meteorite into the ground to make earthquakes. So you can see side by side what I was talking about with the way the vintage one's holding the staff, and you can't really get that with this new figure. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics Quake action figure. Aside from my nitpicks about the way he holds onto the staff and the potential of the staff getting a little too heavy over time, I will say I love this guy. The sculpt is awesome. It's an amazing update of a very weird looking vintage figure. And I just love all those crazy details that are worked into him. The paint is good on this one. The articulation functions very nicely. And man, this guy just looks awesome when you match him up with all the rest of your crazy new adventures of he-man aliens and mutants really cool figure and definitely one that i personally am glad got a release in the line so this figure was available pre-order only from super7store.com like all of their figures in the new masters of the universe classics line so unfortunately if you guys missed out on the pre-orders your only chance at this point is picking them up on the aftermarket 
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this weird guy. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my Masters of the Universe reviews. Until next time, my friends.